Hello. I would like to just do a little introduction to my home machine shop and just to show you the machines that I have here. First of all, um, it's a wrong food clone milling machine. It was in a bit of a rough condition when it came to me. It was leaking oil badly, so I replaced the seal. At the same time, I replaced the ball bearings in the, on the spindle, so it's it's nice, looks pretty good. I had a digital readout to it and a chip guard. It's a, I guess, it's a unique, unique looking uh, machine. The way it is, it doesn't come as is when when people purchase it. So it's, it has kind of like a sophistic, more sophisticated look than what it is. Perhaps one more item that I can mention that I added onto the machine. It has a built-in light so there's no other object obstructing from the side and it it also does have a digital scale on the quill movement to measure aside the three axis readout the extra feature is it also does have a power feed motor for the z-axis elevation some some of these machines do have some don't this one does couple of more items I would like to mention. When I was uh, reworking the head, I also at the same time uh, replaced the two nuts for the X and Y axis. And also I installed a one, a one shot loop system. These machines, they don't come with it. So currently all the ways getting lubricated uh, from here. The other machine I would like to talk about, which is kind of a relatively rare uh, machine nowadays, is a shaper. It's a 450 millimeter stroke, 18 inches, built in Spain. It's in a really nice condition. Uh, I've installed a single axis digital readout for uh, cross phase measuring table position. And uh, with the dial indicator, I measure quill, uh, compound slide movement. Um, this machine operates on a three phase a two, 220 volts, so I'm using a variable frequency drive. The RAM bays are in, oh, still in a really nice condition, can be seen the, the scraping for the oil pockets. This machine is set for internal spline cutting, not really doing external work. Currently, eight spline being cut into this gear ID and mostly dividing head work. The late machine I got is an English built Harrison M300. Um, basically, this is the machine that I own the longest. I purchased it on an auction. Um, I mounted the digital readout on it that came from a milling machine where the uh, y-axis scale doesn't didn't work so it was just suitable to, to mount it on this lathe. One unique feature that this machine has is this. It's a high-speed threading attachment. I believe only Harrison machines and Colchester machines have this. So instead of using the regular half knot I'm basically operating this and it can be set up so it automatically um, kicks out uh, when it arrives to a shoulder the, the thread cutting tool so basically this is how it looks like there is the chart and the gear is being set for it's a metric cutting uh, attachment
And this one here is the work, workbench area. Currently, I'm rebuilding these bearing housings. These bearings are shut due to high, exposed to high heat. And after that, it basically, they are already uh, mod, uh, rebuilt. I also got this vent saw here, horizontal vent saw. On and off, I'm using it not too often. Um, since the space is small, drill press, grinder, and the compressor, they are staying outside in, on the garage side. Raw material, I'm storing it outside in the shed. Um, so this is it. Anybody has a question, please leave it in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed.